The Money Badger concept is based on a common experience that we all have. This month I'm going to have some extra cash, but of course something always comes up and then your extra money's gone. We thought it'd be fun to personify this situation with an actual character, one that persistently steals your money. But what could be more tenacious and money hungry than a Money Badger? So with that core concept in mind, we started sketching. We chose stop motion animation to bring this concept to life. This process allowed us to create an amazingly rich experience with depth and texture that wouldn't have been possible for us to achieve using the computer alone. To create the Money Badger, we had to explore his form and his personality. We wanted him to be a devious character, but also have a sense of humor and charisma. We sculpted a bunch of different Badger heads, each with its own unique expression. We even created the pupils digitally so that we would have total control over his expression and his personality. We built rooms with odd shapes and goofy proportions to resemble something you might see on a Saturday morning cartoon. All furniture and props were custom built at roughly a one-third scale. To bring the game to life, we worked with Apple to make sure that each interaction and animation would appear to be natural. We took countless photographs of the sets in numerous positions. We sliced and edited the foreground and the background imagery to make it all work. Unlike a stop-motion movie, Money Badger is a game. It has to respond and change depending on the user's actions. To make this happen, we had to shoot full sets as well as all the individual items on a green screen. We then had to cut out each individual element in the computer and rebuild the scenes in a variety of different ways to cover all the possible outcomes generated from the user's interactions. Let's just say it took a lot of effort to make it all work.